My name is John Krakow. I'm a professor of neurology and neuroscience at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine and I'm interested in how the brain learns and repairs itself after injury. Um, what I am studying right now is the interface between cognition and movement. The idea is that if you move and think at the same time that maximizes your chances of cognitive enhancement. So what I would recommend is that at any time in your life take up a complex sport, not exercise only, Take up squash, take up tennis, and it's the combination of the strategies you have to learn to win and the movements you have to make to become skilled that will actually lead to um, preserved cognition as you age. You may be wondering what kind of complex sport somebody might be able to do after the age of 65. So what we're discovering is that you can create video games that require the combination of movement and thinking um, that will be like a sport but not dangerous in any way, it will be perfectly possible for people who might be too frail to take up something like tennis. So the challenge in what we're trying to do is come up with video games that people of all ages like and capture both the movement and the cognitive aspects of sports.